this is Pinky, and this will be a tutorial on how to do the mute self function within VRChat. So this is taking advantage of the mute self bool parameter that when you enable the mute button within VRChat, something will toggle. So to get started, we will make sure that we have our object we want toggled. In this case, this will be the exact same voice bar from the earlier tutorial. And I will make sure that we click on our Hopkin over here. We're going to go to the animator and we're gonna make sure that our FX layer is inside the controller. This is the exact same FX layer from down here. And after that has been done, we're going to make sure we go to animation. We click on this drop down here. And if we scroll down to the bottom, there should be the ability to create a new clip. We're gonna call this mute true, meaning that when we are muted, this is true. And when we're muted, we're gonna make sure that this box disappears. So we're going to click the record button and we're gonna record ourselves turning this box off and then we're going to create a second animation. So same place, scroll down and we are going to hit create new clip. We're going to call this mute false so that when you aren't muted, this box will be enabled. So I'm going to click off on again. And as you can see, the cube is enabled here, which is what we want. Now we will go over to the animator and we're going to create a new layer and I'm going to call this mute. You can call it whatever you want. And I'm going to click this setting bar and make sure the weight is set to one. So as we can see, we have our new layer here. We're going to create two states. We're going to create a starting state and then we are going to create the second state. So this starting state here will be when we are muted. So I will call this muted. And then this one will be called unmuted. So I'm going to call it unmuted. So in this muted state, we're going to put the muted equals true animation that we made. And we're going to place that in here. And in this one, we're going to call this muted equals false. And now we're going to make two transitions. So muted to unmuted and then unmuted to exit state. And then with these animations, we're going to make sure that we set all this to zero. So that there is no animation time, meaning it will be in instant animation. And then we're going to open up this arrow here and we're going to hit the list where this conditions is such say it would be empty. We're going to hit this plus button. We're going to scroll down. And if you don't see anything here, this is because we haven't created the actual mute self function. So we're going to head over to the parameters. We're going to click this plus button. We're going to make sure it's a Boolean type and we're going to call it mute self. So we're going to scroll down. You should see it mute self capital M capital S all one word. And we're going to hit enter and make sure that it is put here. Now, if we go back to this and click on this again, and we scroll down to the bottom of this list, you see mute self. So this basically, when we are muted and we go to unmute, which means that mute self is false, which we're going to set right here, it will play the unmute animation. And then when we mute again, meaning that mute is true right here, true mute self, then it will go to exit, which will go back to entry and go back to the muted state. Now, to make sure that this works, we're going to go to our avatar again. We're going to scroll down to our parameters. We're going to double click and we're going to add a new parameter and we're going to call this mute self. Again, same way of spelling and such. And we're going to set this to the Boolean type and make sure that it is correct. And we are going to make sure that this is saved, but do not enable it by default. Now to test this worked, we're going to go into play mode. We're going to select our gesture manager and we are going to go to the debug menu. We're going to scroll down to the mute self bool and we're going to click on this, make it true. And as you can see, see that when we are muted and it is true, which I cannot show you because of my avatar blocking it, but I'll bring it up on screen. When it is true, the little box disappears, but when it is false, the box reappears. And this basically means that when you are muted or unmuted in game, this box will appear. This will be the one from the last tutorial to show an example of in game. I'm actually going to switch over to VR to show this off. So now, as you can see in game, the mute button over here, if I click it to disable it, meaning that I mute myself, you can see the white bar above my head is no longer enabled. Now, if I go and click V to unmute myself, you can see the white bar is there again. So this basically means that we have successfully created a mute self parameter, 
Meaning that whenever somebody sees you in a VR world and that you meet yourself, you can now show them that you are muted. You can change this from instead of just being a white bar above your head, you can maybe animate a little mute icon on your avatar, or you can make yourself look like you're muted by putting a muzzle over your face. But for this tutorial sake, I just made it so it was just a little cube. And as you can see, as I spam V, the bar enables and disables. Anyways, thank you for watching this tutorial. This has been Pinky. Please subscribe, and if I have helped you, uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Have a good one.